Greetings everyone. Python has become the main programming language for open source machine learning and AI algorithm. Therefore, having basic knowledge about Python is fundamental for running open source applications. So today I am going to cover all of these topics. What is CMD, command prompt and how to start and use it? What is Git, how to install Git and Git large and how to use Git to download projects hosted on GitHub or Hugging Face? How to install Python on your computer? How to set the environment variables path of Python to set the default Python? How to install another version of Python so that you can have multiple Python for each application if necessary? How to change the default Python via the environment variables path? What is Python VNV short for virtual environment? How to make a Python VNV from any installed Python version? How to write a quick base shortcut script to start CMD? Activate a certain installed VNV. How to install stable diffusion automatic 11 web UI using the correct Python version while having different Python installations. So let's begin with what is CMD. CMD or command prompt is a command line interface. It allows users to interact with the operating system by entering text based commands, providing a more direct and powerful method for controlling the system executing programs and managing files and directories. Think of CMD as a way to communicate with your computer by typing commands instead of using graphical interfaces like clicking and dragging with a mouse. It's a more advanced and technical approach to managing your computer and can be faster and more efficient for certain tasks. Usually, we are using CMD interface for running machine learning applications by executing Python commands. Therefore, it is important to understand that click your start icon in the left bottom of your windows, type CMD and you will see this interface. You can run it either as administrator or just run it and the CMD window will be opened like this. There are several commands, but usually we don't need to use them. We just can use our graphical user interface. So what is Git and why do we need it? Git is a distributed version control system. We are going to use Git to download repositories hosted on Hugging Face or GitHub or other Git repositories because usually open source projects are hosted on such websites and you need to clone them to be able to use them. To download Git, just type Google Git and you will get this link. Click it, download for Windows. You should choose 64-bit for Git Windows because usually all of the Windows installations are now 64-bit. Once the download has been completed, open your downloads folder, double click it, click yes. Next, next. You don't need to change anything, just type next. By the way, before installing, let me show you how to verify whether Git is installed or not. To verify it, I am starting a CMD like this. Just type in git and you see git is not recognized as an internal or external command. So let's continue the installation. I am not changing anything. I am installing it as it is. The installation has been completed. We don't need to launch it. After installation, we need to start another CMD window so that it will be activated. Let's type git and now you see the git is installed. We also need to install git large to download very large model files from Hugging Face. So just type git large, open this link, click download, open downloads folder and double click the downloaded file, click yes, accept, next and next and finish. Python is very version dependent, so based on the target project that you are going to use, you need to install correct Python version. The applications that I used recently uses all Python 3.10 version, therefore I am going to install Python. 3.10.6 this is also the suggested version by the stable diffusion automatic 11.11 web ui just go to the link so it is important to download it from the correct site this is the site of it i am going to download the windows installer 64-bit version it is also recommended version once the download has been completed right click it run as administrator by the way, let me show you that Python is currently not installed on my computer. So I opened a CMD window typing Python and you see it is opening Microsoft Store to install it. But I don't suggest you to install it from Microsoft Store. So let's continue. Click run. 
it will ask you to verify running yes okay this is really important you really should customize your installation because if you install it inside users folder the default folder you may likely to encounter problems i have seen many people were encountering problems therefore i will customize installation and one another very important thing is you need to check this at python 3.10 to pad checkbox if you want this version to be your default version then click customize installation you can check all of these next okay you can also check all of these checkboxes and another important thing is i suggest you to install it directly inside your c drive so i am going to make the pad as python 3 10 and the last version 6 like this install it will install everything to your computer if you have previously installed it, python 3.10 point any version it won't allow you to install python 3.10.6 i think it is conflicting with other python 3.10.x versions however you can install different versions such as 3.11 or 3.9 i will show you that as well okay the installation has been completed i also suggest you to disable path length limit to not have any problems so just click it and it is done now when i start a new cmd window command prompt and type python I see that Python 3.10.6 version is installed on my computer. It is able to recognize it. Why? Because when I type env, it will bring me edit system environment variables. Click it. It will open this window. In here, click environment variables. And now you will see variable path in user variables and system variables. And you go to the system variables path and click edit. You will see that the python installed folder is inserted into our path variable of system variables like this with this it is able to recognize my installed python version also we are seeing the git installed versions as well in our edit environment variable screen so click ok ok so this time let's install the latest python version by the way installing latest python version is not the correct thing because majority of the open source machine learning applications ai applications are developed with a certain python version and python backwards compatibility is extremely poor so when you upgrade your python version you will likely to encounter a lot of problems installing the necessary python version is extremely important so let's download it and install it as same as previous installation okay right click run as administrator now this time if you also add python exe to your path it will also be added to your path however now this will become your default installation let's see customize installation next install everything i will make the folder of this installation as 311 version 3 like this install the setup was successful now let's start another cmd type python and you see my default python is now 3.11.3 .3. how can i return back to previous python as a default version so let's type e and v and we will see the edit stamp environment variables click it open environment variables and when i click path now i am seeing the newest installed python in the top so the logic of environment variables is whatever is at the top will be used first so i am going to move up my previous python into the top like this and okay 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 opening another cmd window typing python and you see now 3.10.6 is my newest default version however you need to start a new cmd window otherwise the previously started cmd won't see this change this is important now in my c drive i have two python installations and i want to install a software depending on python 3.11 how can i use python 3.11 without changing my default python version 
The way of doing it is using Python VNV. Python VNV, short for Virtual Environment, is a tool in Python that allows you to make isolated Python environments. This is really important, isolated. That means that other installations, other applications will not conflict and cause problems with our VNV installations. It is used to manage dependencies of different projects separately and avoid conflicts between different versions of packages and libraries. In other words, it allows you to create a sandboxed environment where you can install specific versions of Python packages and libraries without affecting the rest of your system. This is useful when you are working on multiple projects that require different versions of the same library or package or when you want to test your code in a clean environment without any interference from other installed packages. To making a new VNV folder, we are going to utilize this prompt. And let's say I want to make a new virtual environment folder inside my C drive. To start CMD inside my C drive or in any folder, just type CMD into the folder path like this. It will start CMD window inside that folder. Then type python-m VNV and give the virtual environment folder name like test1. And it will generate a virtual environment inside that folder. This will be completely isolated from other installations. And now inside test1 folder, I have got everything of the Python installation. So to activate this installation, enter inside scripts folder, open a CMD inside here, like this. You see, currently my CMD is inside test1 scripts folder type activate and now you are seeing test1 is written like this this means that this cmd is running inside this virtual environment python installation not the default python installation let's type python okay it is displaying 3.10.6 why because when we generated our first python like this it uses our default python installation what about if i want to make a virtual environment with python 3.11 then what i need to do is instead of typing python go to your python 3.11 installation in here you will see python application like this while pressing left shift on your keyboard right click it will give you copy as pet option copy as pet and change this like this so now when making new virtual environment it will use this python version let's make this as vnv311 okay i am opening a new cmd window you see it is started from here if i want to start it inside c drive i am opening c drive inside this folder path typing cmd and it is starting inside c drive alternatively for navigation you can use cd dot dot it will go to one upper folder cd dot dot it will go one parent folder like this and then type like this and it will generate a new virtual environment with python 11.3 okay the environment is made so now i have my new environment folder inside my c drive Let's open it, open scripts, open as new CMD. You see, currently this is where I am, type activate. And now VNV311 is activated. Let's type Python. And you see, this virtual environment is running with 3.11.3. Whatever I install inside this virtual environment will not affect my other installations. Let me demonstrate. So I will install pillow package in this virtual environment for demonstration pip install pillow and then we will see whether this package is installed in other installations or not. Okay now when I type pip uninstall pillow it will ask me to uninstall it or not in this installation. Let's open another CMD window and let's type pip uninstall pillow and it will tell me that Pillow is not installed. You see, every virtual environment is completely separated and whatever you install in them will be installed only in them. You can also verify this by going into your virtual environment folder, library folders, site packages folder. Inside here, you will see the installed libraries such as you see Pillow is installed in my virtual environment 3.11 folder. 
when I go to my original Python installation inside lib and inside site packages, I won't see that particular library folder here because it is not installed in my original Python installation or in my default Python installation. So every time to activate certain virtual environment, typing CMD inside that particular folder, typing activate, this is somewhat bothersome, taking some time. So we can make a quick shortcut to achieve this. So I will make a shortcut in my documents folder, right click nib text document. Let's name it as start python 311vnv. This file currently has txt extension. However, we need to change it to .bat file. To see the extension, go to views. In here, you will see file name extensions. When you click it, it will show you the extension and it will allow you to change it. I will change it as bat like this. Then I will right click and click edit here. It will open the file. Then this is the base script that we are going to use. All we need to change is the folder where our virtual environment is installed. To do that, first I will enter inside my folder and I will click the navigation bar like this. Copy the path paste it in here by the way if you have spaces in your folder path then you should put quotation marks like this to the beginning and end of the path just save it then when i double click this start python 311 vnv bot file it will open cmd and it will start my virtual environment like this so then if you want to move into another folder and also start this virtual environment folder you can further modify this script so i want this script to activate my virtual environment then go to the this folder quickly for me so i am typing this command under this call scripts bot file save it and when i start my cmd window i see that the virtual environment is activated and current location of the cmd is this folder when i type dir it will list me the directory content then when i type python i will see python 3.11.3 .3 is installed so this is the way of using virtual environments of python lastly i will show you how to install stable diffusion automatic 11, 11 web ui to install it copy the url of the GitHub repository, go to the folder where you want to install. I want to install it inside directly C drive. This is also important. You should directly install it inside your C or D drive. It works best. Type CMD. Then we will use git clone command. We already installed git. Therefore, git clone. Paste the URL with right click of your mouse or right click here. And from edit tab, you can click paste or you can use control V hit enter it will clone the entire repository into your current folder so the cloning has been done it downloaded all of the files actually over 17,000 files okay in here now we see the cloned repository automatic 11.11 web ui also generates its own virtual environment folder however it will use your default python installation so if you want to use certain Python installation, then you need to change web ui-user.bat file, right click edit, and in here you see set Python. So you can set Python of any Python installation. Let's set it as our 3.10.6 while hitting shift, right click, copy as path in here, copy paste it like this and save so it will install everything with using this certain python installation if i don't provide this then it will install by using whatever the python that you see when you type python to you a new cmd window currently we are seeing the correct version however if you had another default python installation then it would use that one so like this and also let's set the dash dash x formers. These two are all the things that you need and it will download and install everything. After saving, just double click and start the web ui dash user .bat file. You see it is using this python exe. It is creating new virtual environment. It will download all of the necessary packages and install them. And it will start the web ui and you will be able to start using it.
This is all for today. I have excellent tutorial videos on my channel for stable diffusion. If you are interested in stable diffusion or chat GPT or GPT-4, please subscribe, like and leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see next. Hopefully I will make out some further videos for chat GPT or chat GPT other alternatives, open source alternatives. Also, if you support me on Patreon, and by joining our youtube channel or leaving a super thanks comment i would appreciate it very much you can click the join button here to support me via youtube you can click the support me on patreon button and you can subscribe any of the membership level i would appreciate it very much this is super important for me also in the video description and in the comment section you will see our discord link and patreon link this is also extremely important you should join our discord channel and communicate with other members ask me any questions that you have our discord channel is also awesome i guarantee you that you will learn a lot of things from our discord channel as well also our discord channel is best way to contact with me you can also leave a comment and i am replying every one of the comments that you make i am giving super importance to your comments your opinions your feedback hopefully see you in another awesome video